Hey guys, name is Fen playing some The Seventh Crystal. Playing it bright and early today, I figured I kind of feel like it, so why the hell not? Are you gonna stop me? No! So anyway, I have to steal a sapphire. I really ought to watch that intro video again, but I was too paying attention to the surroundings and not at all listening to to what's her name talking there. Uh, so, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I figured I, I probably missed some stuff in the library here, including some kind of door over here that possibly just leads outward again, but also including something up there, possibly. But let's just see where this door goes. Let's see. Won't you see with me? Oh, it's kind of just, just near here and stuff. So that's actually kind of where I just sort of was, sort of. Let's go upstairs and look at some flashing silver plate. Oh. Oh, that would be on this side. Yes, it would. And I have to probably duck and crouch because somebody's deaf gonna see me outside there. But they're not deaf at all. Oh, the flashing silver plate is merely a chair with some kind of flame reflecting off of it. Even though... Oh, it's that flame. Oh, that flame. It's the flame of life. It is how souls are born into regular people. I thought that was sparkling all Thief 3 style, but it's not... Bottles all tilted around all over the place. Somebody's a voracious reader. <coughs> uh. For the attention of Lord Saturnine, we have your wife. She is unharmed and will remain so if you meet our demands. On this you have our word. You will arrange for a lone servant to bring to us 50,000 gold. Whew. And believe us when we say that he will be under close observation from the moment he leaves the grounds of the mansion. Therefore, we strongly advise against his having bodyguards. Right. If he is seen to be accompanied, the exchange will not be made and your beautiful wife will be killed. That is a promise. <laughs> Instruct the servant to leave the money in the exact location indicated on the enclosed map. We assure you he will not be harmed in any way. If these instructions are carried out to our satisfaction, your wife will be returned to you. You are a man of impeccable taste and style, Lord Saturnine, but rather too much of an exhibitionist. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Perhaps this will be a lesson to you. Act swiftly. Time is of the essence. Ah. Uh. Poor guy. I almost feel guilty stealing from him. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Poor mouse, I almost feel sorry. Almost! Uh, it seems... Oh, really? Small music. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. Hmm. It's a safe. Well, if this is a safe, then how did that one guy come in here from outside? This warrants some more investigation. That is, after I break open the safe. And that was just some music. It would mean, like, how dare a gramophone contain music? It should contain voice, which is... Whoa. It's always a little funny when you have a frommable thing. Add it key. Add it key, everyone. Yep. Yeah. With, with other frommable things inside of it, you keep having to, like, choose which one you're pointed at and stuff. It's just... It's just crazy. Mm, well, what is this? The Journal of Lord Saturnine. January 12th. What a night. Brady and I finally broke through that wall in the crypt tonight. We could scarcely believe what we found. There is, underneath this very library, a complex of catacombs of such dark beauty that I was compelled to explore them right away. We gathered lanterns and rope from groundskeeper Pearson's workshed and returned to the library to find out what secrets the catacombs held. Is it catacombs or cat? I don't know. Although by that time it was very late and the mansion was asleep, I was glad of the security system Brady and I devised to protect our secret find when first we discovered what, at that time, we assumed was the entire crypt. If it is a pain for Brady to have to open the passageway from such a remote location as my chamber every time we explore, he never complains. He is a true and trusted friend. When Brady returned from throwing the lever in my chamber, I was standing by the open passageway, lantern in hand, ready to go. We moved through the crypt to the opening in the wall we had made and continued into the darkness. Who knows for how long that place had been sealed. The air was stale and ancient. Thick cobwebs hung from the cold stone ceilings. It was a silent and chilling place. It was then that we came upon an elevator, amazingly still in working order. 
They don't make them like they used to. We sent the platform on its way to double-check its safety, but upon watching it descend into the darkness, we somewhat nervously glanced at each other and agreed extra light might be favorable. Brady brought through one of the lighting rigs we had used during our excavations, and so, with the haunting shadows banished, we moved onward and downward. We rode the platform down, and an incredible sight met our eyes. A vast mausoleum of hammerite design under my own mansion. It was desolate and silent, save for the awful shrieking of spiders. In real life, that would sound very f silly, because spiders don't shriek. But in this game... Uh, how I hate spiders! It was certainly fortunate that we were armed. It was a nightmare. At times we thought we would die down there in that cold grave, but we managed to make our way past the beasts into a series of dark tunnels, lighting sensors on the walls as we went. It's supposed to be spelt with an E, not an O. <coughs> this ancient echoing tomb was, all along, beneath my very feet. I vowed whatever I found I would claim as my own. Eventually, we discovered a lever that opened a stairway, which in turn led downward to a single room. It was there that we found the open grave of a Hammerite mage. His remains lay in state, and his skeletal hands clutched a beautiful sapphire to his chest. Around his neck was a rosary which Brady claimed for himself. As for myself, I took the stone. It was, after all, found on my property. Strange, though, we were not bothered by spiders at all on our return journey. And still, I can scarcely believe it, a vast and shadowy mausoleum under my own library. That place is mine alone now, my secret, my precious. Huh. Wow. Not so secret anymore, is it? I like how sometimes they use Garrett clips and other times they use another guy's voice. Also, um, here we go. Cursor was acting kind of funny and weird, but it's all good. So... How did how did this one guy get from the balcony to this to this side of the room and, and come and get me last time? That's just I Oh, he must have come He must have come up the stairs then. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course he did. So it seems that there's a second floor type of thing now, and I've got some kind of add it key. So instead of exploring the first, I'm just going to stampede on over to the second here. Whole bunch of statues and... Yo, little kid, you're going to talk to me? There's some feet going through the door. That's the way you code a game engine. Well, no, I mean, it really, it is. Yo, looks like there's some tile there. I'm going to shy away from tile, shile away from the tile. I'm trying to make a nice little rhyme to help you remember not to clock on floors here. What are you laughing at me for? Oh, uh, uh, yes, 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 I see, yes, I see. So my loot goal is like, I don't even have a loot goal. Yeah, that's actually kind of, kind of nice sometimes when that happens. And now I guess I'm back on the first floor. So I, I guess I am in fact not exploring the second floor. After all, I'm, I'm a blatant liar, I... What was that? <laughs> Thought I heard like a whoo, whistle or something. And now I'm back in the library. Oh man, I'm going absolutely nowhere today and I kind of don't have my... Earrings, and I think I missed something on a table over here, but I could be totally, 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 totally mistaken. I could be, yes indeed, yes indeed. There's the outside place, there's a guard on a balcony who's probably one of the guys who saw me. Here's some kind of room with like a guy, a guy, and I don't really know how to get under this balcony, but, ah uh, yes. Crap. Because there seems to be no particular doors and, and stuff, but uh, that guy's up there, and I certainly don't want to look at my map. There seems to be some stairs pretty much everywhere. The attic is sort of up northerly direction. So I guess I'll instead go over through some double doors over here where there seems to be a guy walking, except he's over there now, and I'm trying to find darkness, but 
can't seem to, and it's quite deadly and doomish. Stew today. Oh, it looks like I did take whatever was on that table. Well, now I'm hiding. Hey, little kid, comment on how I'm hiding again, except not. That. That, 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 come on, where is he? Where, where are these people? Where? I am trying to play a game in an entertaining fashion, and you guys are not making it easy. <gasps> I don't think I got the guy who comes through here yet, so I guess I'm just going to try to smash his brains in an incredibly grindhousey manner, except there seems to be somebody else walking somewhere else this mansion is crawling with guards it's just completely rude and impolite and then there's there's like another spot like that on that wall but it doesn't have a light in it it's pretty much the silliest thing I've ever seen ever 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 are you coming this way man are you because if not I'm gonna take these curtains and strangle you with them I know curtains aren't good for strangling people but I guess I'm gonna do it anyway possibly maybe I guess Anyway, I'm tired of waiting for people, so I'm just gonna walk right out into a lit hallway in front of a guy, possibly. Watch him jump! All right, you. Not tolerating oh. you. No, I'm not tolerating you. There's an airborne blackjack that I actually noticed. I noticed some of these missions tell me I've got airborne blackjack, and I don't even remember getting it. Put him down. <sighs> Die, Topper! Shut up. Lead you into darkness and smash your face in. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's a big That's old it. huge? Oh, he's dirted. Stupid. Bonk. Hey there, Red Room, have you any wool? Or elemental keys? Or nice soft carpet in dark corners? Oh, 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 it's this place. Oh, it's the graveyard. I see. I you get it. That's the way it's gonna be, is it? What the hell? I. God, these guards are on their long patrol routes. They just. God. Spread all out, and I can't take care of them quickly. Is there even anything under here? I would put something under here if I were people. But I'm not people. I'm a freaking dog. I, 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 that is a total lie. This place isn't even that big. Looks like I've seen most of the stuff on the first floor, except for the ballroom. Still waiting for these guys to make any show of their face. That's right, come down the actual oh, stairs. Oh, I'm still recording. That's right, mother freak. Uh, that's. What's that? Turn around. Right. <laughs> You've whistled your last tune, buddy boy. That's right, one guard down. Do -do 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 -do. Dancing on your grave, lily like a slave. It was a dark and stormy night. Into the dark corner trod I. I was going to dump a body. How did this story come about? Well, perhaps I'm getting a little ahead of myself. It started when I was upstairs and gazing over the balcony. Onward and onward, gaze at I, until I finally discovered and found out that I had to keep going on the second floor to progress with the mission, because, God damn it, you've got to be kind. I found myself hiding behind a statue, hiding from the guards, hiding from my past, hiding from what the world, destiny, fate, and everything had in store for me. 
I couldn't hide for long. I opened some doors and saw a guard. I believed I remembered this was the guard that had gotten me killed several eons ago in a past life. Just then, a dame walked into my... But seriously, let us attempt to get rid, as they say. Hey, you over there! I did say get rid, not got rid of. There is a phonetic and linguistic difference there. Linguistic, yes. I am quite the linguist stinker. Yeah. And this guy, since he's kind of standing on the other side of some marble, is rather an irritant. And therefore, she's a witch. I guess I'll just avoid him. Man, this mission is pretty challenging and stuff with the guard placements. It's not just randomly... Oh. No! I just tapped on marble and they didn't even hear me. I'm going to sneak out and try to snatch that loot there. There's stairs even higher up. It's pretty crazy. I mean, this... Let me know what's going on. I'll let, Never included. I'll let you know what's going on. I'll include you in the being knocked out squad. It's actually quite a large squad, and I'm sure you will appreciate the squadron squad squad squad. Uh, I, I, yeah. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Did you okay, see now. something over there? Ah, okay. Free to talk, free to talk, and babble and blabber, mm. and just waste everybody's time. Uh, Hopefully, I don't get heard. Well, at You're least you didn't you properly see me, but I think there are a few too many guards in this mission. There doesn't need to be this many in such a space, a really. You can do a lot more right. with less if you try, and it's just kind of never Where ends. But, uh, I, I don't know, maybe there, there, you know, there wasn't any sort of a technical puzzle wizardry in order to make up for it. Maybe you just had to put guards in there, Careful. I don't know. There's something up. Watch for anything unusual. Yeah, well, I'd say your face is pretty unusual and not designed for girls. Oh, I referenced some comic. I can't even remember what it was. Uh, hey, hey, you, hey, you. Since I'm already cheating everybody, I might as well cheat your senses too. Hey, hey, get over here. I am clacking on the floor. I am clacking. Cry some more. And there's some kind of glitch when I'm leaning through. It's really freaking trippy and awesome and and this guy is kind of being slow dead i tell you as soon as i find you dead you tell me i'll tell you you dead you dead you 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 see you guys later man see you guys tomorrow see you guys later see you guys bye